Welcome to this tutorial. This is about the problem, the common problem we find in bass drum pedals. After a while, they get pretty loose. I will explain why this happens after a time. This pedal has maybe four years now. And how we solve the problem with the washer. You find it everywhere. Costs nothing. Um, we need some tools um, to prepare the washer and so maybe it takes you one hour if you have the tools. This tutorial is organized in different parts so you have the link you, the links in the description and you can just you can jump to the to each chapter. I will explain a little bit more the problem we will dis disassemble two pedals. I will show you the solution. Uh, later on, I will talk a little bit more about the washer, and in the end, I got a couple of things to say. Before we start, I'd like to say that this tutorial is about the Tama series Iron Cobra. I got the 600 here, I got the 900 with old platform, and the 900 with new platform. Might It might work with different pedals when you understand more the problem you will see is that if you can disassemble the footboard you I think you probably can use the same method for different pedals right now I just have experience with Tama um, why do we want to do this so it's a problem it's pretty noisy that's not nice if, especially when you want to record and I think in, in the long term it's not good for the mechanism because the chain is pulling like in a funny way or so and we lose control over the footboard. And before we start I'd like to say thank you to Victor Valera, drummer of Angelos Apatria, who gave me all his pedals <laughs> to fix them and he used them a lot. Those are his old pedals, he's working with Mapix now and yeah, so they s suffered a lot, but now they're pretty good again. So let's dive into the problem. Let's go. Let's disassemble the first pedal. We will start with the 600. We will find actually two problems. But as I said before, we will solve this with a washer because I think it's easier because you don't need proper tools. More about this later. So I will just clip off the springs so we can work easily. All right. So if you want to you can also disassemble the chain with a with a drum key. But yeah, I don't I won't do it too now right now. So the six hundred is different the platform of the six hundred is different than the nine hundred series. What you find is here, um, I think you should see it right now, two set screws. So the, the thing we have to do is we have to open this, those set screws. And then we can just use the Allen key as well to get this. Let me clean it first. Metal rod. So we have this metal rod which goes through the, the lower part of the platform, which connects the upper part and that's the magic this is how this full sport works so when you look at the metal rod I hope you can see it yeah you should um, the marks of the set screws um, should be at least 
I think this is um, also one problem because the set screws are so because of motion and and play through three years. So maybe you, you you can just fix it. Maybe just with the set screws, tighten them a little bit, or if not, you can't. So then you have to use a washer, and so they. They, they maybe they, they they leave more marks and everything and the metal rod so so after time they they can't hold the metal rod tightly as tightly as in the beginning. What we also find in this 900 series is a metal tube. Why well, I think why I came up with the washer is that through years playing and friction, this metal tube because you know through friction through the years this metal tube just lost less than millimeters and so the idea is to fill this gap with a washer so that's actually everything about the 600 oh, before, I, uh, before I jump to the 900 series um, this metal tube, you have two set screws here. Hope you can see it, it's everything black, very difficult. And those set screws, you, when you untighten them, you can move the, the metal tube to adjust the position if you want it a little bit more to the left or to the right in the end you want it in the center so that's why I won't open it now because it's yeah you you can choose you can deal with the position of the platform let's see the 900 I think it's this one yeah um the 900 is a little bit different. So, we find, oh, let me first do this, and so we will find two set screws again here and two, two, two. They, they, those are connected with the metal rod, so we have to open them. Otherwise, we can't um, take out the, the metal rod. So we open them. I would also say, well, don't get them totally out. You know, so, so just so you can move the metal rod. Um, and if you see right now, it's super loose. So if you have this problem with a 900, Maybe you can just fix it, tightening the the set screws. This can so could be just what? Well, it's just one check with an added screw. Can you tighten it? It's better. Great. You don't have to do. You don't have so much work. So let's open this one now. When you look at this rod, uh, and it's difficult with the light, sorry, um, you will find marks on it as well for the set screws. And I think this game pretty worn out after time. 
So one possible solution would be to uh, make a new one, make a new rod. But I think this, well, it's more work and you need more tools for it. So that's why I, I want to do this at one moment. I want to try this uh, to see how things work out. Maybe it will be even better, a better solution, but the washer solution works pretty well. I'm, I'm, I like it. It's fun to play the pedals again. So, what else to say? When you disassemble the pedal, the 900, the old platform, let me see where is the new platform, this one, this slave. Um, it's the same. So you, you find it for the 900, um, you unscrew it here and you also have those two set screws for the metal rod. So first check here. And if you want to take it out, you put in a washer. Um, so you have to unscrew them and unscrew those two. I don't know how those are called actually. And this is everything. That's the difference between the old and the new platform. Actually nothing. You have kind of bearings inside um, to, to hold the rod in position. Well, so you can just ignore them actually. So, so they have nothing to do with the problem. They're not even bearings. It's kind of things to to hold the rod in position and that's it i would just ignore them i took them once out and then it was just like yeah i had to put them in again that was kind of tricky so this is the problem we have those rods getting worn out we have space we have empty space which we want, want to fill now with the washer in the next chapter we will reassemble the pedals so as i explained in the introduction the problem or in the last chapter the problem is the space and we want to fill this space empty space with a washer so that's the solution we have a here we go an untreated washer and we have you know maybe you can't even see it uh, here we go because it's super thin a treated washer in the next chapter i will explain how i do that this one is maybe one tenth no for comparing compared to uh, to the original so you want to do the washer you want a really thin washer to fill this gap and to have a perfect fit. So let's reassemble the pedal. I will do the 600, the 900 I will do later. It's, for each pedal it's the same. So I will just show you one and that's it. So we lubricate a little bit the rod, the rod again. Um, let's get started. So, the first washer is easy. I you can do it just with one, uh, but I would recommend you use one on each side. But then things are getting more tricky. So I have one washer here on the rod. Um, Slowly, I move the platform so the rod enters the metal tube. No big issue, but now we have to <laughs> put the other one. And this can be quite tricky, especially, especially if you're looking for the perfect fit. So to, uh, to, to fill this empty space, 
So if it fits perfectly, it's even more difficult to put it inside. You can use force sometimes. Uh, so here we go. It's quite tricky. So as you can see, so now it's kind of stuck. That's good. It's almost in the position. And then so I'm trying to get this inside in I don't know in one way or the other, doesn't matter, so I just have to fit. Uh, not even close. So you can also move it with a screwdriver or kind of, um, with an Allen key or something um, with the metal tube to, to move the washer. I bet there are different ways how to do it. Here we go. And so now you can see already. So there is still movement, yeah? So it's not a new pedal, but come on, that's uh, way more better than it was before. And I did this actually a couple of weeks ago and I'm really enjoying the pedal now again. So last thing we have to do is to tighten those set screws. So we can put the springs again. Pedal assembled and the same pedal I was using in the beginning. Um, pretty a big difference. I would say it's a big difference. I'm enjoying it, as I said, a lot, this pedal again, it was pretty noisy, uh, well, that was, it's like new, <laughs> more or less. So, we have the different pedals here, I can show you some, so I got the other 600, well, this was the first I did, um, this is with just one washer. Uh, let me see which one. This is 900. Yeah, this has two right now. Yes, it's not even. This is nothing is moving. And when you look at it, so the platform moves well. And so sometimes it's. It's a little bit more loose than another pedal. It's always a little bit different, but in the end, they are less noisy. Mm, playability, two words about playability, durability, playability, really good. Um, really satisfied with it. Um, durability, so I'm playing this pedal now couple of weeks like this so definitely I think because of friction this washer will wear out uh, in time well so you just have to make new ones um, I think once you know how to do it you're really fast with it that's the solution so the biggest issue is actually to find a washer that fits as I said before, this one was the thinnest one I could find here in my town in a, in a local workshop, which is way too thick. So, and this is to the problem to get something like this. Um, by the way, this one has an inner diameter of six millimeter and outer of what, 11.8. 
um, fits well. So, and so I use how, how to do a thin one. So I use this rotary tool, Dremel, with, I think they're called like angle grinder or something like this. So uh, I won't do it now. So if you have the tools, you know how to deal with them. Um, I would just explain how I do it really quickly. Um, maybe you have other ways to do it. You have different tools, whatever. So I'm actually kind of scratching off a lot of material with this disc. And I stop. I try the piece, uh, the washer, if it still if it doesn't fit. So I continue. It's literally try trying the whole time. So till you find the uh, the perfect size or thickness. So I got a couple of washers now. So I I didn't stop, and so they're really thin. But I can't use them. They're too thin. Thin. And in the end, so I give them kind of sandpapering or something like this. Um, and that's it. So I would say with the rotary tool and try and error, it takes me 20 minutes, sometimes five minutes, sometimes 20 minutes to find the perfect one. Um, this is everything to say how to do a washer. What you can do is you can, so a friend of mine told me about bike shops that there's a type of brakes or something where they use those washers and really thin washers so i haven't been to a bike shop here to ask um you could go there and ask around maybe you will find something there or, or you you check out what you can find in the internet um i've seen for here for spain there uh I can get washers from store for we're starting with 0 0.1 millimeter thickness. So check out what you find. If not, this one you will get in every workshop and then you just if you have the tools, you just do them by your own. First is if you have a pedal. This is not fixed now and I won't fix it because it's not necessary right now, which is a little bit loose, but uh, not so much. I would recommend just leave it like this. Um, you won't be able to do it better. Um, when it gets worse, you can use the method to fix it. All those pedals are I fixed this one is for example it's still quite loose. I have to um, do this again maybe. This is um, pretty nice. For example, the 900 is, uh, that was a lot of work I remember to get these washers inside but it's not moving. No way. And the platform is moving easily. Um, you always want to be sure that you also lubricate the washers um, <clears throat> so everything works and moves smoothly. Total time investment. So when you have a pedal, I would say one hour. Disassemble everything, clean everything, take your time for some maintain maintenance, lubricate the bearings, and everything make those washers assemble it one hour more or less could be one hour and a half could be faster um, so you have two pedals normally you don't have six pedals so a rainy Sunday I would say for the afternoon you can do it um, about the footboard Tama is selling footboards um, I don't know what about the 600 series. I've seen it for the 900, the old and the new one. 
uh, the old platform footboard and the new one. I think one footboard is around 50 bucks. Um, you want to check which footboard you have because the old platform is connected to the lower plate with three screws. The new platform is connected to the lower plate with four screws. Have this in mind. Way to get them, ask your local music store, online shops, whatever. Uh, I don't know if they, they if you can get them directly from Tama. I don't know. Mm. As I said before, this I think this method you can apply it to other pedals the only condition is that it is possible to disassemble the footboard like i showed you in this tutorial for the iron cobra if you can do this you can use the same method maybe you need different washers different diameters mm. The metal rod is also a different solution. I'm still thinking about to to make my own metal rod. Um, There's something I want to do in the future, and if th things work well or even better, I do definitely another tutorial if things work well. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful to, to solve this problem and also it animates you to, to fix your pedal if it's a loose footboard. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just leave them in the comment section. I'll answer them and have a nice day.